This is our final webinar for the 2022-2023 academic year. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Candace Black and I'm your World Language Associate in the Office of Bilingual Education and World Languages of the New York State Education Department. Welcome to Discover Authentic Resource Gems in the World Language Wakelet. The World Language Wakelet houses a plethora of curated authentic resources in numerous languages and features sources on the benefits of and strategies to implement authentic resources. This session will walk through how this wakelet is organized and explore its different sections. You will learn different methods to search within the curated authentic resource collections to acquire authentic materials for your instructional toolbox. The presenter will demonstrate several ways to save a resource from this wakelet and various digital curation and storage platforms that you can use to house, label, and organize the saved resources. You don't wanna lose what you found. Our workshop presenter today is Barbara Patterson. Barbara taught Spanish for 31 years, mainly in Liverpool CSD, and holds a BS in secondary education Spanish, an MA in Spanish, and a CAS degree. She is the committee chair of the NYSET World Language Subject Area Committee, the co-chair of NYSEFELT's Public Advocacy Committee, and a project support specialist of the New York State World Language Standards Initiative. Barbara served as NYSEFELT's Assistant Director and LECME's Webmaster, Past President, President, and Vice President. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to invite Barbara to begin this workshop. Thank you, Candy. Well, welcome to the NYSE OBEWL World Language Standards Initiative on how to use the NYSE OBEWL's World Language Wakelet. Okay. This webinar will assist you in discovering the authentic resource gems in the World Language Wakelet. And I'm gonna warn you right now, I am gonna be saying the acronym OBEWL a lot during this presentation. So I apologize ahead of time if I mispronounce it or if you start dreaming about OBEWL tonight. As Candy said, please remain muted throughout the webinar and hold your questions until the end of the presentation. When you see the blue thought bubble, I'll be asking you to think about the information presented. Okay, let's look at today's goals for this webinar. I can search the OBEWL World Language Wakelet for authentic resources. I can save authentic resources from the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. I can curate authentic resources. And I can search for ideas about using authentic resources in the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. The New York State Learning Standards for World Languages, adopted in March 2021, are organized into two anchored standards, communication and cultures. The first of the three communication anchor standards is the interpretive mode. The learning standards are divided into modern and classical languages. The interpretive standard for modern and classical languages states that learners understand, interpret, and analyze what is heard, read, received, or viewed on a variety of topics using a range of diverse texts, including authentic resources. Note the only difference between modern and classical languages is that modern languages include what is received. As you can see, the use of authentic resources has become the focal point of interpretive communication. So you may be wondering, what is Wakelet? Well, it's an online content curation platform that allows you to bookmark, save, organize, and share multimedia resources from the internet. The multimedia resources can be videos, images, recordings, 
social media post, post, websites, and more. But the best part about Wakelet, it's free. So let's look out how to find the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. You can locate it on the OBEWL page on the SED website. So on the OBEWL webpage, under World Language Links, scroll down to Professional Learning and click on that. In the left-hand side, uh, there is a menu. Find Wakelet Authentic Resource Collections and click on that. This page describes and links to the OBEWL Wakelet. At the bottom of the first paragraph, you're to click on the link at the end of the sentence that says, access the authentic resources Wakelet here. And I'm gonna say, okay, I'm leaving the SED website and I'm okay with that. I am now at the OBEWL Wakelet. Another way to get to the OBEWL World Language Wakelet is click on this um, direct link. Now, this link I have placed in the handouts folder. But please hold off going to the Wakelet right now. But when you do, please remember to bookmark it so you don't have to search for it in the future. There are four sections to the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. Wakelet usage, curated authentic resource collections, about authentic resources and your resource suggestions. So this Wakelet is an efficient platform for you to search for authentic resources and get ideas on how to use them. Okay, let's look at the curated authentic resource collection section. It contains language specific collections for languages taught in New York State. The language specific collections are listed in alphabetical order. As you can see, we currently have 16 language specific collections from ASL to Tuscarora. Near the title of each collection, is the number of sites within that collection. That number changes each time a site is added. If you don't see the language that you teach listed, please contact the World Language Standards Initiative. And Kim will put that email in the chat. Within a language-specific collection, an authentic resource site can contain resources grouped by topics or a set of ungrouped resources or resources that may or may not be searchable. Okay, first let's look and an example of an Italian resource group by topics. So first I'm gonna to go to the Italian Authentic Resource Collections. And I'm going to scroll down to 
Deb V. W. Italian teacher. As you can see, she has organized her Pinterest board by topics. Um, I don't know a lot of Italian, but I think this is school, shopping, health, travel, etc. Second, let's find an Italian resource that consists of a collection of ungrouped resources. So I'm gonna scroll a little bit further down to, oh, this one, Italian authentic resources. We'll give it a few seconds to load. Okay, while it's loading, uh, this is a Padlet created by Nathan Lutz, and he added infographics, articles, memes, and poems on various topics. But note, they are not organized by any theme or topic. Third, Watch as I conduct a keyword search within an Italian resource. I'm going to scroll back up to the site Audiolingua. Here it is. And I'm going to search for resources on technology. So in the search bar, I can either type in Italian or in English, this site allows both, um, the word technology. So I'm gonna first put it in English. Now oh, here we turn, mm -hmm. okay. So I have one, two, three resources I can look at further. Now, let me type it in Italian to see if it gives me something different. One, two, three, four, oh, now I have five. Now I have five. So in, oops. So in OBEWL's uh, World Language Wakelet, you will find all three types of resource groupings. Now you just observed a Pinterest page by Deb V. W. Italian teacher and a Padlet by Nathan Lutz that showed how these teachers curated their authentic resources. So these storage platforms and how they're organized may serve as models when you go to save your resources. Each authentic resource collection starts with a spreadsheet that contains the resource type, a title, and a brief description of each resource. The first column contains one or more resource types embedded in that site. The resources can be art, audio, books, images, infographics, memes, music, podcast, poems, text, video, 360 tour, and or virtual tour. I'm just going to give a few examples. Uh, for videos, um, it could be a music video, a cartoon, a commercial, a movie trailer, or maybe a sporting event. Here are some examples of some images you may find. Uh, it could be a map, a social media post, or a poster. And some examples of text are menus, uh, comics, an online magazine, a digital newspaper, folk tales, social media posts, or um, captions under photos. 
The second column is the title of collection and all of the resources are listed in alphabetical order by title. The third column has a brief description of the resource with connection to one or more New York State world language topics. I am going to click on, oops, not that. <laughs> the Russian, oh, why are you not letting me? Russian, Russian. I'm going to have to cheat a little bit, I think. I'm going to go to the Russian website. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Okay, so as I said, each uh, language specific collection starts with the spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna click on this. Um, so in the Russian authentic resource collections, here's the resource type or types. We have multiple. The title of collection in alphabetical order and a brief description, which includes the New York State topic or topics. For example, this one has food and meal taking, the arts and travel. Okay. Before you begin a search, it's recommended that you narrow down what you are looking for. Okay, notice the blue thought bubble. While I ask each question, select a choice to form your search. What is the New York State theme or topics you're searching for? Which text type literary, such as a poem, a legend, or a children's book? Or are you searching for a factual text type, such as news, an interview, or a recipe? Are you searching for a resource that is in print, audio, virtual, or realia? Will the authentic resource be used in an interpretive, interpersonal, presentational, or multimodal task? What purpose will you use the resource for? A lesson hook, a warm up, to introduce new vocabulary, culture, grammar and context, a performance assessment, student choice, or another reason? Now, Wakelet has a search box that allows you to look for content in every single Wakelet in the world. But it does not have the ability to search within one specific Wakelet. Therefore, you can't use Wakelet's search box to search just within the OBEWL's Wakelet. But there is a solution. There are now four strategies that you can use to search within the OBEWL Authentic Resource Collection. One can explore the resources by surfing, by doing a search by keyword, 
by doing a search by resource type or by doing a search by the New York State topics. In the next few slides, I will demonstrate each of these four strategies. Okay. So surfing is one of the strategies to look for authentic resources within a specific collection. To surf, you scroll through the collection, read the resource descriptions, click on the resource to investigate it further. We're going to take a scroll through the Latin collection. If I see a resource that captures my attention, I'm going to read the description and then I'm going to click on it. Uh, oh, graffiti. Okay. okay. Um, graffiti. Let's see. Oh, okay. So here is graffiti discovered. Oh, there's one with gladiators, boats, oh, a camel. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Another strategy is to investigate a language collection by searching by a keyword. And the keyword can be in English or in the target language. First, you need to download the spreadsheet that's in the collection. And to conduct a search will depend on the computer programs that you have on your computer. So if you have Google Workspace, it will download as a Google Sheet. And if you have a Windows, um, you're gonna pr press Control F. If you have a Mac, you're gonna press Control or Command F. Now, if you have Microsoft, it will download as an Excel spreadsheet and you're gonna click on find and select. All right, we are gonna do a little search in the Spanish collection. Okay, I'm now at the Spanish collection. And remember, each collection starts with the spreadsheet that lists all of the sites. So I am going to click on it. I am going to download it onto my desktop and I'm going to download it into Excel. Okay. I am going to open it from my desktop. And since it's um, an Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to go to the toolbar, to the upper right-hand side, to the icon Find and Select. I'm going to click on the down arrow to the uh, to reveal the pull-down menu, and then I'm going to click on Find. Okay. Now um, I can. Uh, Enter keywords in Spanish or in English um, to find resources on what I'm looking for. All right, um, I'm going to do one on recycling. So I'm going to first just type in English recycling. Oops, if I can spell it correctly. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to click on find all. Ooh, okay. Now, when I click on the first word in the column where it says book, it's gonna take me to that, it's gonna highlight the resource in green on the spreadsheet. And I know it's very, the green is a little hard to see on here. Um, I can then read the description uh, or maybe I'm looking for a specific resource type and decide, is that something I wanna investigate further? Or I think I'm gonna just keep looking at the next one to see. Okay, that's a video, it's commercials on recycling. Ooh, that's a maybe. Um, oh, more videos on the why it's important. 
Okay, and I'm just going to do a search with uh, recycling in spinach. Recycle. Okay. All right, and oh, okay. This one's got some infographics, etc. So that's how you can do a keyword search in an Excel spreadsheet. Now, what if I want to do a keyword search by a resource type? So let's go to the French authentic action. Remember, the spreadsheet is always the first item. I'm going to click on that. And I'm actually going to stay in, in um, Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheets is different um, from Excel spreadsheet on how you find a resource within it. So for Max, remember it's Command F. And I have a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command F. And it brings up the find in sheet box. Um, let's see, um, resource type. I think I'm going to type in virtual tours. Virtual tours. Oh, there's only two. And Google Sheets highlights it in green like Excel spreadsheet did, but it's much easier to read. Okay, so this is a virtual tour. Um, Oh, on quite a few things. And let me go to the other one. Whoops. Ooh, can't find the other one. Okay. Let's do 360 tours. Okay, um, 360 tours on Canada and France. Okay, okay. And again, there's only two. And remember, another way to search by keyword is by the New York State topic, which has to be in English. Um, and if you don't know the New York State topics, they're listed right here. Okay, let's go to the German collection. Okay. Um, again, the spreadsheet is listed first. I'm going to click on that. I am now going to download it, I, I think, as an Excel spreadsheet onto my desktop. I'll do that again. And I am going to go to the toolbar, the upper right hand corner, and find the find and select icon. I'm going to click on the arrow to pull up the pull down menu and then click on find. And um, let's see, in the New York State topic, I'm going to go with health and wellness and find all. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Again, the green is hard to see, but it took me to this one. Okay, Switzerland. And this one, oh, songs, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> okay, and just a reminder, when you do a search, by New York State topic, you can only write the New York State topic in English. Uh, that's how they are tagged within the spreadsheets. Okay. So you're able to get to the wakelet. You were able to find your language collection and you were able to do a search. Well, once you find a resource, you want to save it. Because remember, sites can be deleted, and we all know some of them can be blocked by your district. 
And above all, you want easy, organized access to all of the resources that you found. So there are several ways to save a resource. You can bookmark it, screenshot it, download it, drag and drop it onto your desktop, or upload it into a digital curation site. All right, we're gonna go to the Mandarin collection and I'm gonna show you how to do the first four ways to save. All right, here's the Mandarin Authentic Resource Collections. Um, I'm gonna surf through the collection till I find a resource that catches my interest. That one looks interesting. Museum, coffee break. Mm. Oh, pandas. I got to go to pandas. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, cuteness overload. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this is a virtual tour about pandas. So I want to bookmark this. So I go to my toolbar, which I don't think you can see, to where it says bookmark. And I'm going to say bookmark this tab. And I can give it a name or leave the name that um, the site is titled. I can add it to my book bookmarks bar, or I can add it to a folder I've already created, or I can create another folder. So I'm just going to add it. Oops, I just added it into healthcare by accident. <laughs> So bookmarking is pretty easy. No. Um, screenshotting. And this depends if you have a Mac or a PC. Um, oh, I'm going to screenshot this poster. So on a Mac, it's Command Shift 4, which that's what I have. And a PC, it's Alt Print Screen. So command shift four, snapshot this whole thing. And it's now on my desktop. Um, so we've done bookmarking and screenshotting. Um, let's do drag and drop. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Um, I definitely want this one. Um, so I'm going to click on this resource. Oops, where is it? And I'm just going to click on it and drag and drop it onto my desktop. And another way to save something besides bookmarking, dragging and dropping, and screenshotting is by copying and saving it. So let's go down to this one right here. And you can right click on it and it will save. It can save as an image or it can save the URL. Now, Right click is easy on PCs. On Mac, it's a little bit different. It's control and then the pad. Um, I'm gonna hmm. I'm gonna save the link. And now it has saved the link and it's gonna go into my desktop. Now I can put it in one of my digital curation sites, my iCloud or my Google Drive. But for now, I'm saving it on everything onto my desktop. Okay. 
Now, um, I will show you how to upload into a digital curation site a little bit later in the presentation. But once you find and save a resource, this is super important, label and cite your saved authentic resource. So label it with something you can remember and cite it so you know where to find it in the future. Okay, so you found some resources. What do you do with them? You don't want them hanging out on your desktop. So there's numerous ways to curate your saved and labeled resources. Um, here's a list of a few digital curation sites. Um, Wakelet, Google Drive, Pinterest, Padlet, Digo, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Apple iCloud Drive, and there's others. Um, but remember, whichever one you choose, please organize and label the resources in your platform because you want easy, organized access to what you found. So I am going to show you two digital curation platforms. Um, the first one is Google Drive. So you would go to drive.google.com and either log in if you already have an account or create an account, and it's free. On the left-hand side, you're going to click Plus New. Then you're going to click Plus New Folder. Of course, give the folder a name and then click, click Create. You're going to upload a folder or right-click on the website and save it to your drive. Um, I am going to go to my personal Google Drive. And I'm going to create a new folder because I want to save all the Panda stuff I just put on my desktop. So I'm going to click plus new. And then I'm going to click new folder. I'm going to label it Pandas. And then I hit create. Okay. I am now, if I can find my pandas there. I am going to drag and drop. Remember, I found this poster of a panda, and it's about the Olympics. And then I found this Reese, this photo of, of a panda sleeping. And it's in there now. Now I can go and rename each of these items because the number 202191, that means nothing to me. So I'm going to click on rename and I'm do panda sleeping. And uh, it's a JPEG, so I know it's a photo. Uh, this one was panda and Olympic. The other uh, curation platform I'm going to show you is Wakelet. So you're first going to go to wakelet.com. If you already have an account, you're going to log in. If not, you'll create one. And remember, Wakelet is free. You're going to create, uh, click on, it'll be in the upper right-hand corner, a blue box that says plus create collection. Then you're going to give it a title and a brief description. And you can always go back and change your title and description. Then you're going to paste in a URL or you can search within the Wakelet, find a resource and uh, grab that URL and put it in there. Okay. So we are going to go to the OBEWL Wakelet. And in the upper right hand corner here is that blue button. It says plus create collection. I'm going to click on that. Um, I'm going to do pandas. Uh, brief description. Pandas in China are 
acuteness overload. Okay. Now where it says paste any web address, I can go to, I think I wanna do that virtual tour one. If I can find it. Um, I think it was this one. Yes. So I wanna put this virtual tour about pandas into um, my Wakelet. So I am going to copy the URL. Whoops, where am I? And I'm just gonna paste it in there. And there it is. Um, you can write, if you click on edit, you can change the photo. You can change the title. You can write a brief description. So if I click on it, it takes me directly to that site. Now, I also can do a search in all of the wakelets in the world. So on the left-hand menu, I'm going to click on the search button. And I'm going to type in pandas. And no, I think I'm just going to do pandas. Oops. Um, okay, there's a couple of resources here. Oh, I'm going to click on the babies. Panda research. Okay, so there's some tweets in here, videos, research, ooh, facts about pandas. So there's a couple of ways to do this. I can click on the site, grab the URL. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Oh. And go back to the womb, my wakelets, which is my home page. so many things open right now. Okay, and I can paste the URL in that box. And there's the National Geographic Kids website. Now there is another way um, if, not that. Let me go back to do a search again about pandas. Um, let's say I liked everything that this person put in their wakelet about pandas. I like it all. I can click follow. Then all of her items will be in my wakelet now. Okay, now I only showed you how to curate authentic resources in a Google Drive in a Wakelet, but I did mention other platforms. In the handout folder, I created instructions on how to curate authentic resources in the other items I mentioned, in the other platforms I mentioned. So Microsoft OneDrive, Digo, Padlet, Pinterest. I did Google Drive and Wakelet, but I put them in here. So everything's in one spot. Um, and for some of them, I was able to include examples. So for Wakelet, here is a Wakelet by a German teacher and all of their resources. Oops. Um, for Pinterest, here's a Pinterest example by a Spanish teacher, Senora Rodriguez Grimshaw. Oh, and she's organized by topics and languages. For a Padlet, and I have an Italian example. 
And I think I have one more. Yes. So in Deco, I have a French one. Actually, it's the AATF. So there's all the resources within Deco. So um, you were able to learn how to get to the wakelet, what's in the wakelet, strategies to search the wakelet, ways to save um, resources you found, and ways to curate them in a digital platform. But there's another section. Uh, this section is ideas about using authentic resources. And there's two collections. One is strategies to use authentic resources. And the other one is find, select, and curate authentic resources. Notice the blue thought bubble. So I'm going to talk about what is available in that authentic resources section of the wakelet. As I go through the main topics covered, mentally check off the ones in which you are proficient, keeping in mind that there are resources for both new and experienced users. Are you a new or experienced user of authentic resources? Do you know what makes a resource authentic? Do you know how to find and curate authentic resources? Do you know what the benefits are of using authentic resources? Do you know how to embed authentic resources into lessons? And do you know how to use authentic resources with learners of different proficiency levels? So based on your checklist, consider expanding your knowledge by perusing these various resources in the About Authentic Resources section. Okay. So just like the Authentic Resources collection, these collections start, these two collections start with a spreadsheet that lists the resource type, title, and alphabetical order, and a brief description of the resource. Um, you can surf the collection by scrolling, reading the description, and clicking on a resource to investigate further. So I'm going to click on the strategies to use authentic resources, and I'm just going to scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, oh, this one looks interesting. So I'm just going to click on this. And I am going to investigate that further. Another way to search uh, these posts is by doing conducting a search. Um, you first have to download the spreadsheet. And then remember, if you're Google Sheets, that's what you have to do. If you have an Excel spreadsheet, that's what you need to do. Um, the only difference is the resource types um, are either an article, a blog, podcast, presentation, video, or workshop. So that's different than the authentic resource collections where they talked about, you know, 360 videos and art and memes and things like that. So I'm going to click on the Find, Select, and Curate Authentic Resources. And I'm going to click on the spreadsheet. I'm going to leave it in Google Sheets. I am going to do a quick search. Uh, the box comes up, Find in Sheets. Um, I, think I want to look, see if there's any podcasts, because I'm going to be traveling soon. and need something to listen to. Uh, yeah, there's a podcast on how to integrate them um, in the classroom. Okay, okay, by Lisa Shepard, okay.
Okay. So very last part. So after you have had time to familiar yourself with the contents of the OBEWL World Language Wakelet, do you know of a site that contains authentic resources or ideas on how to use authentic resources that is not currently posted? Um, if so, please consider sharing that resource um, by filling out a Google form. So if we go to the wakelet, at the top, there's this form, submit a resource, and you would click on it and fill it out. Um, I am actually gonna show you what's in the Google form. So the form is gonna ask, um, what is the title of the resource? Uh, please give me the URL, a brief description. It could be in English or the target language. And what kind of resource? Is it an authentic resource? Does it go in the strategy section? How to find a resource? You know, how to adapt an authentic resource, et cetera. If it's an authentic resource, it's gonna take you to section two. In which language is it? And check that off. And then what different resource types are within that site? And you can click on multiple ones. If it's a modern language, which New York State topic or topics are covered? And if it's a classical language, which topic or topics are covered? And then is there anything else we need to know about that? And then your submission will then be reviewed to ensure that it meets SED criteria before being added to the OBEWL clip. So let's revisit today's goals. I can search the OBEWL World Language Wakelet for authentic resources. I can save authentic resources from the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. I can curate authentic resources, and I can search for ideas about using authentic resources in the OBEWL World Language Wakelet. I hope now you have some resources to achieve these four goals. And the chat icon means it's time for questions, if there are any. While we are gathering our questions together, Barbara just wanted to thank you for a wonderful webinar and remind everyone that this is our last webinar for the academic year, but we will have our slate for next year coming up in the next few months. And we will be putting this recording on our website for further um, verification and watching. So I'm going to stop the recording now.